And Steve, what are the feelings in there? It's particularly cruel. Well, you know, it was a really close fought game and it was a game of two halves, as they say, and, and to lose by a drop goal is always disappointed. But we've we've come a long way, you know. It's a, a big group that we're in, and you know we we took a good hiding last week against Northampton. So the steps in performance have been huge, and you know Cipriani was outstanding for us, and Magnus Lund putting a big shift out there, and yeah, they're naturally disappointed. But you know it's it's a we're certainly in the right direction. To you know we just couldn't put them to the sword after that first half performance, and. You know, we just panicked a little bit when we when we had the ball. It was a quick tap penalty, I think we took, which we just should have maybe slowed the game down. But you know, that's the way rugby goes. So disappointed about the result in the end, but really chuffed about the performance. In, in hindsight, second half, start the second half in the corner there was that sort of 37, and it yeah. looks like it's yeah. But those decisions come your way or don't come your way, and we're not going to crib about that. We, uh, we we probably did enough to win the game, but the experience of Munster shown in the last. Ten minutes. Is that one of the big differences, perhaps, the fact that they've got that pedigree in Europe and you know, at this level, you're still a bit inexperienced. Aren't you? Well, I think you know they're a, they're a good side, and on our day, we're a good side. It's just you know they uh, they just seem to run that clock down well, keep ticking the scoreboard over, and and even on the 80th minute, you know they, they got in the right position and the, the the ten slotted it over. So you know, fair play to them. Do you have any view of what happened in the first half with the yellow card incident? I mean, there was a thought that... Yeah, it was, it was probably the right decision, yeah. You said a bit more about Cipriani, first half mm. particularly. Um, was that an England fly-off performance? I think he's, you know, with any contentious uh, opinions about his goal kicking, he put them to rest today. His ball in hand and his defence especially, you know, I think he put 12 or 13 tackles in today. So he, he, he's playing really well and... You know, if the England coaches select him, I think I think he'll uh, he won't let them down. Definitely not. Steve, is that the sort of template you want to establish for the rest of the season? Now, I mean, it's the complete opposite to what happened last weekend, wasn't it? And the intensity and the way that you play throughout. Well, I think we're, where we're as a club today has been brilliant. You know, the, for the spectators, the sponsors, the full crowd, and you know, thanks <laughs> for Munster for bringing all them people. But we've just got to get our consistency right. We've got to qualify for this competition year on year. To, 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 to be recognised as a, a really tough competitive team and performances like that today, you know, won't do us any harm. Days like this remind the players how important it is to try and get that top six position, you know, with what comes yeah. with it. Yeah. What was your view of the, towards the end, you, you went onto the touchline to shout at the, the scrum where you, you, you didn't seem happy with, what was the thinking, what were you? Well, just the direction of, I think everybody who was on this side of the field can see the ball is fed straight straight into the second rows and we're told categorically by the, the uh, Donald Courtney, the, the, the head of the European referees and by the referee in the change rooms that he will not allow that and it was blatant and it was just to try and prompt him, it didn't work. Um, <laughs> Talking about the set piece, though, again, that, that must have given you a lot of pride. The way that you showed up, and yeah, I mean, you, you took it to them on a few occasions in the scrum as well. Well, I think what we've got to remember is where we are as a team. We we, we don't have a budget like some of the other clubs. So our first line, 15, is is pretty strong and can compete with everybody. But when you have to start making you, you we have half a dozen injured. And when you start to make your, your reserve coming on, it isn't as strong. And I think that told again today. That, no discredit to the people who come on, but I just think, you know, I start in that and if we can put that side out every week, we'll, we'll compete and beat more than it'll lose to. Do you have any more coming back for Clement? No, not in the immediate. Probably beginning of December, the Saris games will be uh, Braid and um, Hines will be fit. Be the hardest thing they're trying to lift them for the Claremont game after the disappointment coming no. so close. No, there's nothing to lift. They've, they've played well, they know they've played well. They've got three days off, they've travelled to France, they've got another fantastic experience, another great stadium against a massive side. So, again, we don't have to get them up for it, we just have to get our game plan right, and hopefully, we can fulfil it like we did for a good part of today. Then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll run them close, so you know, maybe sneak a win. Any early indication with Dave? Yes, he seems to hurt his knee, no, no injuries. No.